Excellency, permit me to invite Ms. Dorcas Odor to lead us in a word of prayer. God, our Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude. We ask you to forgive our sins that we have committed in word, deed, and thought against you, against our fellow citizens, against ourselves, in public and in private. We want to thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, of preservation, and the blessing bestowed upon us upon His Excellency the President to serve in the high office to take care of us. We thank you, Lord, for all the offices represented here today for giving them the responsibility to guide. Lord, we ask you to remind us of our mortality, to remind us that we borrow this world from the generation to come and we have to give the earth back to it the way you gave it to us. Also remind us, Lord, that there is nothing that we have that has not come from you. Father, we ask you to remind us of the blessings and the gifts of beatitude. Remind us to always, in word, thought, and deed, to reflect you. And finally, Lord, we ask you to remind us of the words of St. Augustine, that human beings are made for you, they will never rest until they rest in God. And thus, we will have no peace unless we have you. We ask this in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may kindly take your seats, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the President, your Excellency, the Deputy President, Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, members of the National Security Council present, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This state ceremony, the swearing in of the newly appointed Director General of the National Intelligence Service, is convened pursuant to Article 74 of the Constitution. This ceremony is also in fulfillment of the legal requirements arising under Section 19 of the National Intelligence Act. Your Excellency, the state provision, stated provision of the law obligates a person appointed as a Director General of the Intelligence Service to take and subscribe to the oath of allegiance set out in the Act before the President as a prerequisite to formally assuming office as a nation's spy master. In that regard, Mr. Nuddin Mohammed Haji, having been duly appointed as a Director General of the National Intelligence Service, via Kenya Gazette Notice Number 7688 of 2023, we therefore confirm that the state ceremony is properly convened. With your Excellency's kind indulgence, permit me now to invite Mr. Nuddin Mohammed Haji, the Director General of the National Intelligence Service, who by dint of this state appointment joins the membership of the National Security Council to take and subscribe to his solemn oath of office. Mr. Nudrin. Aye. Nurdin Mohammed Haji, do hereby swear by the Almighty God that I shall be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Constitution and Republic of Kenya, that I will at all times and to the best of my ability obey, protect, preserve, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of the Republic of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people of the Republic of Kenya without fear, favor, bias, affection, or ill will, will, that in the exercise of the functions entrusted upon me, I will at all times subject myself to the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, 
the National Intelligence Services Act and all other laws relating now or in the future in force relating to my appointment in the National Intelligence Service. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Modi. My very best wishes. And I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Your Excellency. Your Excellency, with the principal officer in charge of the overall management and administration of our nation's premier civilian intelligence agency, the National Intelligence Service, having assumed office, it is now my humble duty and high privilege to invite Your Excellency to convey your congratulations to the new Director General and thereafter, with Your Excellency's most kind and gracious favor, to grant the esteemed officer a photo opportunity to chronicle this historic occasion. Your Excellency. Please, uh, let's take our seat. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Attorney General, Minister for uh, Interior, Minister for Defense, CDF, our immediate former Director General of NIS, senior government officials, family of uh, Nurdin Haji, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and welcome to this uh, ceremony. It is indeed my pleasure to preside over this uh, solemn ceremony as we um, swear in our new Director General of the NIS. Again, uh, Mr. Haji, congratulations on this uh, very well-merited appointment into uh, the office of the Director General of a very important um, arm of the security agencies of the Republic of Kenya. I have full confidence that um, with the experience that you have gathered over the years, having worked in the intelligence service uh, for many years and having served in other senior government uh, positions, including that of the um, DPP. I am confident that you have assembled uh, the requisite knowledge, understanding, and uh, experience to be able to discharge your responsibility at a time when um, the world is experiencing multiplicity of uh, challenges ranging from conflict as a result of climate change and resource constraints and um, the big issue also of uh, terror around our globe and in our region and many other security challenges that affect us including the whole arena of um, uh, constraints around the economy. You know, we, we have uh, um, an economic situation globally that requires very delicate management. 
and a lot of information, a lot of intelligence is necessary to be gathered so that we can better manage the affairs of the country, better manage the security of the country, and even manage in the best way possible the economy of our country and uh, all other aspects of our nation. I am uh, looking forward to working with you uh, together with all the other uh, colleagues in the security sector and even the other uh, members of cabinet, members of uh, uh, government, as we take the whole of government approach as uh, we manage the affairs of our country. As you are aware, um, Kenya is at the threshold of um, a new dawn. We are all looking forward to a better future for all of us. And that must be informed by information, must be informed by the correct understanding and analysis of all the situations that come with it. Um, as we are all aware, the best decisions are made if you are armed with the best information. And therefore, we will be looking forward to making, using your offices together with all the other uh, sectors of government to make the best possible information to our policy makers, to decision makers in government, and that policy, legislation, and all other interventions by government will be based on solid, verified information, analysis, and knowledge. I am very confident that uh, where Kenya has reached today, the institutions that have been developed have sufficient wherewithal to support the management of the country. I am also very confident that as believers in democracy, believers in the rule of law, that as we march into the future, that we will build the institutions that have been set up by the Constitution to make sure that they serve the country beyond us and beyond individuals. As you take over the reign as uh, the Director General of NIS, we recognize that it's an institution that has been built over time it is my hope that you will make your contribution to making that institution better, more professional, more uh, responsive to serve the country better. As we do all other institutions, um, because as individuals we are here, there will be others tomorrow. And the best we can do is not to personalize any institution, but to make the institution better to serve the country beyond us. Um, I, I believe very solidly that the surest way to make Kenya stable and prosperous is for us to build all institutions that help us in the governance of the country. And uh, it is my considered view that this trajectory of ensuring that we build all our institutions will guarantee the present and the future of our country. So again, on this very important occasion, I call upon all arms of government and all sectors and all agencies to work together for the better governance of the country. We must depersonalize, depoliticize our decisions so that they are um, better uh, tuned to making sure that it is in the best interest of the country 
when we act. Um, I am confident that all the officers we have in office have gone through uh, the rigors of uh, interview, they have been assessed, and they have been found worthy of the offices that we all occupy, and we must give a good account of the responsibilities and the duties that have been assigned to us by the offices that we hold. Again, Mr. Nurdin Haji, congratulations on your appointment. As I have told you, you have my support, and I look forward to working with you as you serve uh, the people of Kenya. Uh, I know um, you have uh, uh, left a, a big office as the Director of uh, Public Prosecution, um, where you provided, again, exemplary service. Um, the lady who prayed for us here has been your deputy there. I am sure she will step in meanwhile as uh, the processes are being, are being handled. Um, but let me also take this opportunity in a very special way to congratulate Philip Cameru, uh, General, uh, Major General, for the exemplary service that he has provided to the Republic of Kenya. I have worked with Philip um, for a couple of years, and I can attest that um, he has served the country with diligence, loyalty, and patriotism. Again, Mr. Kameru, as you uh, retire to do other uh, uh, assignments, both personal and public, you have our goodwill. Congratulations for serving the country in a very outstanding manner, in a difficult time, uh, in a very complicated uh, uh, geopolitical arena with terrorism and many of the other things that come. So as you uh, take leave, you um, have our goodwill and prayers um, as you go to do the other things that uh, you're going to do. As I informed you, um, we will be looking for senior citizens like yourself, people who have served in senior government officials to support the country in many other aspects. Because the experience you have gathered, the knowledge that you have is, use, is useful for the country going into the future. And we will be looking out for you, as we do others, to help us in the management of the country going into the future. Again, to say, as a country, we are grateful that uh, you manage the affairs of our country, you supported uh, uh, the former administration, you have supported this administration when I requested you to stay on until many things are together. You were gracious enough to accept, and I am truly grateful. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for coming for this very important occasion. Congratulations again, Mr. Haji. Asante sana. Thank you, Excellency. We can go and take a photo.